Joshi Joel Fishing here. Hope everyone has a great day today. The date is June 5th, 2023. I'm gonna bounce around and do some fishing this morning. It's gonna be cool today and tomorrow. A couple days of cooler weather after it was 90 degrees the last three, four days. So it's gonna cool off a bit. I'm gonna bounce around to a couple of spots I haven't been to in a while. I fished a little glacier lake last week where I saw that big muskie. I'm gonna fish the sister lake right down the road, the bigger glacier lake this morning. Doesn't have any musky, but it's got a lot of other species. I'm going to throw a few different baits and see if we can get some fish. And then I'm going to hit another spot I haven't been to in a few years. It has a couple of ponds and a spillway and like a little channel that connects the two ponds. And we'll see if we can get on some multi-species over these next couple days with the cooler weather. Let me head over to the first spot and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. I love this lake. It's a big glacier lake. I fished the small glacier lake last week going for muskie. Now I'm at the bigger glacier lake this week and this is the far end of it. I'm gonna throw a few different baits this morning. I got my MEP spinners, I got night crawlers. All right, let's see if they want a half a piece of juicy night crawler. All right, here we go. I'm sure there's so many species here. Hanging out in the current. I'm getting a bite already. Oop, got off. Whatever it was, it got off. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got him that time. It's just a little bluegill. It's all right, I'll take it. It's got really cool color patterns on him. All right, let's see if I get another one. Getting a bite already. Three seconds. Another bluegill. Another little bluegill. All right, that's enough bluegills. I just caught four. Let's see if we can get another species. Gonna throw the maps red and white right in the current. Anything will hit the maps. Typically bluegills don't. I wanna get another species here. See what else is in here. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna stick the camera right below the dam here in the creek, see what happens. Hopefully it sees something cool. All right, here we go.
six hours later. I got a white trout magnet. Trini, watch this. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh my goodness. It's what? a baby smallmouth bass. He'd be great for an aquarium. I want to keep him. I want to keep him. This has to be the smallest smallmouth bass I ever caught in my life. On the white trout magnet. We'll throw him on the other side. He'll get, he'll get stunted in there. You want to throw him on the big side because he'll get too small in there. Let's see if we can get some other species and something a little bigger. I know there's trout in here. There's a lot of species in both this little creek and the main lake. That smallmouth was hiding right in between the rocks. That's where they like to hide. All right, top water time. I'm gonna throw the weedless frog on the edge of these lily pads and by the structure. And then maybe I'll throw the MEPS. Caught one little baby smallmouth bass. Had about five other bites. Let me throw the Booyah Pad Crasher Junior weedless frog. See what happens. All right, here we go. A few minutes later. Got one. Got one, Saturday. Pulling drag, nice fish. Right under the tree. Nice fish. Yeah. Don't know. It's a big pickerel. It's a big gator pickerel. Let's get a measurement. On the weedless frog. Man, he slammed it. Look at those teeth. Where did you come from? He's hiding under the tree over there. He wanted a frog for lunch. 20. Just over 20. Almost 21 inches. <laughs> Almost 21 inch chain pickerel on the weedless frog. Nice. Oh no, they got razor sharp teeth, look. I'm not gonna get a no. Hold on, we got a picture. Slimy. I hold a very slimy fish. You're gonna have to hold them with two hands because he's big. There he goes. There he goes. See you, buddy. That was awesome. I got him right under this tree, right here on the weedless frog. Slammed it. All right, that's two fish and two species here. Little baby smallmouth and a big gator chain pickerel. I'll take it. The next day. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm fishing another spot. I haven't fished in a few years. Very interesting spot. It's a pretty good sized pond. There's two sides and there's also a creek. I'm gonna throw a few different baits and see what I can catch. Very surprised I didn't get bit in this channel on the trout magnet. Five minutes later. Got one. What is this? It's a trout. It's a rainbow trout. Nice. Man, he slammed it. Real pretty colors. 
me wet my hands. He fell off. Let me grab him. All right, never mind. There he goes. Over there. See you, buddy. Quick release. He fell off. Thought he was stuck. He swam out. Beautiful rainbow trout on the maps. Haven't caught a trout in a few weeks. All right, that's something. That trout was frisky. All right, that was fish number one. Beautiful rainbow trout. Quick release. Let's see if we can get fish number two. I know they stock this. I don't think they stock that many, but he was hungry. He wanted the MEPS. All right, here we go. 10 seconds later. Got one. Next cast, what is this? Is this another trout? I'm not sure. No, it's a bass. Back to back cast, guys. Two species, rainbow trout and a largemouth bass on the MEPS. Easy. All right, Mr. Largemouth Bass. Thanks for hitting the MEPS. I'll see you later. There he goes. I'll see you, buddy. All right. Let's keep fishing. Two fish, two species, and back-to-back -back casts. Let's see if we can get fish number three. A few moments later. Got one. Got off. That was a big fish. What was that? What was that? That was a monster fish. I don't know if that was a big bass or what. That was huge. I stopped reeling in. I thought it was snagged for a second and then it surfaced. I have no idea what that was. That was a giant, giant fish, guys. Should have kept reeling. I don't know what that was. Could have snagged a carp, maybe. Maybe I snagged a carp, I don't know. If that was a bass, that was a giant bass. I have no idea what that was. I didn't get a look at him, he surfaced. It was huge. Could have been a carp. Carp get very big and they're spawning now. I could have snagged a carp. I thought I was snagged. So it wasn't really head shaking or anything. So maybe it was a carp, I have no idea. Got one. What is this? It's a bluegill. There's bluegills here. Bluegills everywhere. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. Got one. Pulling drag, nice fish. What is this? It's a bass. Nice bass on the night crawler. He's long. He's not fat, but he's long.
All right, buddy. I'll see you later. Good little bass on the night crawler. There he goes. See you, buddy. Well, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. It was a fun couple days of fishing. Fishing the other bigger glacier lake. I caught some multi-species. Little baby smallmouth bass, some bluegills, and a huge gator chain pickerel on the weedless frog. Then I went to that other spot that I haven't fished in a few years. And I caught some bass and some bluegills and lost a really big fish. I think I snagged a carp. Not really sure what it was. But it was a fun couple days of fishing. Bouncing around in a couple spots. Catching multi-species. Summer's in a couple weeks. All the species are active now. Everything is biting. It's a real fun fishing adventure this time of year. And I look forward to a lot more fishing later on and all through the summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.